Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to another Create a Sim video on my channel. This of course is part of the Pokemon to Sim cast series and this is probably the Pokemon out of all of them that I will probably be saying the name wrong because I literally have to sit and stare at it and try to think of how to say it. I think it would be said like Risharam? 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 I don't- Risharam? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I probably not. I haven't heard it been said anywhere before or anything and I can't even figure out how you would actually pronounce it. So anyway, basically this is one of the legendary Pokemon. Of course, um, the legendary ones are typically genderless and honestly I don't even fully remember why I chose female. I think part of it was is that I had a few outfits in mind, like at the time I had a few outfits in mind that I knew that I had for females that I thought could make this sim look pretty cool and actually fitting for the Pokemon. So I think that was the reason why I did it, but it may have not been the only reason, but it's the main reason I remember of right now. So this one, I wasn't really sure I didn't have as much of a direction of where I was going other than that there was pretty sure some outfits that I wanted to try for it and I definitely know the outfit that I chose for the sim was definitely um I really liked it and honestly it's an outfit that I don't think I'm going to get to use too often now I have technically moved the sim over into my main save uh, for a few reasons, I actually made, uh, I changed her name in my main save, though. Not a whole lot. It's, like, still reminiscence of the Pokemon's name, but it's changed just enough that I feel like I can actually confidently pronounce it, or at least pronounce it the way that I would perceive it, and since it has now then become my sim, what I say goes. <laughs> so, um, part of the reason why I did, though, is because there was one sim that I really, really wanted to move in, and I wanted to give her, like, a family sort of atmosphere, and I was like, maybe I should move another one of my Pokemon Sims. And she was one of the closest ones that looked to the one that I wanted to move in. I mean, she looks really cool at the same time, don't get me wrong. So, and I was really happy with how she turned out just because she does look pretty, pretty cool. Pretty awesome and stuff. It is a lot of white because this Pokemon literally is basically all white. And with hints of like metals. So like those silver gray type metals. And also, oh, I forgot it already. I was reading on it and researching. There is a form or a mode for this Pokemon that it becomes, has orange that shows up on it. And it has, like, flames and things like that. So, I did or incorporate a little bit of orange, but they're literally, like, hints of orange. They're not, like, in-your-face orange. So, the colors still stay mostly whites, grays, silvers, those sort of things. And, um... I definitely played around a little bit with the makeup. Just the legendaries, I feel like, you know, you've got to sort of, they got to have something a little different about them. Her eyes are definitely part of the reason that make her different. And I say that more because I did technically make the, when I moved her into the main save, I made one parent based off of the one child and the other parent based off of, uh, the other child and the parent I based off of her he's got some pretty big eyes um because it was the father and he's got some pretty big eyes and because it was also trying to make it not look exactly like her just the way his features laid out his eyes look extremely huge on him but not so much on her but you know uh it works whatever it's still fine it's okay uh, so Anyway, as you tell, I'm going through the outfits right now, and you can see, I see I am, like, going specifically to certain pieces of clothing, like, wait, let me try all these sort of more different ones that I have, but there's one outfit I feel like later on I realize it after, because right now I have these, um, pants on her, and this is not the pants that I finished with, because I forget that I have a top and a bottom that actually go together, that actually work really, really well. Um, so I don't know when I realized it, but I did. And that's what I ultimately come up with. So, like, the pants and the the top and the bottom end up matching. So they go together. And I really, really like how it turned out after that. And there's the top. So at this point, you can see I'm going through the pants because I'm like, wait, don't I have some pants that go with this? I'm pretty sure I do. Oh, there they are. 
Because it's mostly white and it's got these hints, like if you see it closely, it's got hints of silver shining and stuff like that. And in certain lights and stuff, it shines a little bit more than other lighting. So I thought it was perfect for this um, sim. And again, you know, just keeping with mostly with the whites. I do think she is really pretty and really cute. Uh, she's up there, like she's on the higher end of the ones that I've done, but she's not probably in my top 10. I don't know what my top 10 would be right off the bat. I know some that are up there, definitely know some that are up there, but I couldn't actually fully think of the top 10 just right away. I might actually do that. I might mention my top 10 or something later on in, uh, like the ending thing or something like that, or, you know. Whatever, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, this, this one actually wa wasn't too hard, surprisingly, which usually when you have one color that you're having to do for pretty much the whole entire color, it can be pretty hard, but, I mean, I made her pale, I gave her a lot of white, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of silver and white, uh, so, it was actually ended up going pretty smoothly. I do think I give her little pieces on her ears that technically go through, um, her hair, but it's still, like, technically you, maybe it doesn't necessarily seem like it's actually coming off her ear. Maybe it's just a part of herself, like these, because you, I mean, you could slightly see them on there. But they were metal pieces that go back, and you know, this Pokemon has, like, all these pieces that are, like, just going back or jutting out different ways. And plus, it was more metal. Like, if the more metal I can throw on this sim, the better it was, because... This Pokemon looks like there's like metal rings around them and stuff. So I definitely was trying to do that. And I think this is where I'm trying to incorporate the slight hints of orange and stuff. And I, of course, you know, I had to give, go give a look through through the tattoos. Though I don't remember actually giving her any tattoos. And if I did, I don't remember them as of right now. But I really don't think I did. <laughs> But anyway, I do, like I was saying, I do like how she turned out. I'm actually very happy with her. She is already in my main save. There's a chance that you've already actually seen her. Also, well, not already, but you will see her, is what I mean to say. <laughs> so, be on the lookout for that. I hope that you liked how this sim turned out. Let me know down in the comments if you do. And also, let me know so far who is one of your favorites. Is it this one, or is it someone previously to this episode. I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Uh, all of my Simsor playlists will be down there in the description below so you can go catch up on those, particularly this playlist. If there's any that you missed, that playlist will be down there for you to go check out. Also, my social media would be down there so you can go follow, follow me on those and keep updated by other means. Also, I have links to the sites that I most commonly go and find my CC. So if you're wanting to go look and try to find some of the CC I have or just give those sites a gander, there they are. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!